a breadwinner, you can be a breadwinner, girl, go and get that, you can achieve that. Be a breadwinner, you can be a breadwinner, girl, go and get that, you can achieve that. Hello and welcome to another Breadwinning Wednesday. I am excited to be back with you today for another edition of Breadwinning Wednesday. And today I want to talk about the difference between when you go from making 5K months to 10K months, things really start to change in your business or they need to change in your business if you want to go from those 5K months to 10K months. What is required to get to 10K and beyond is making sure you start to put some of those critical elements of your business foundation in place. That is exactly what's going to allow you to grow. If you are new to the Breadwinning Women community, I want to welcome you. Today, we are talking about the three types of systems you need to for a six-figure business. I'm Jamila Payne, and we are here to help service-based entrepreneurs put systems, simple systems in place so that you can sell and deliver your high-end service, grow your revenue, and serve more clients while working less. So you will see this in your business, okay? So let's jump in. You will see this in your business when you're really at that point that you're ready to go to 10K months and beyond, that there are certain systems that you need to put in place in your business. So I wanna talk about what those systems are, why they are important, and first of all, let's just take a step back and talk about what systems are in the first place. So systems is just a fancy word for routine. Just like you have a morning routine to start your day, you want to have routines in your business that allow you to create predictable results in your business. So systems are just rituals that you have in your business that will allow your business to produce profitable results. If your business does not have document, documented ways of doing things, it's likely that you are leaving money on the table. Your business is operating uh, inefficiently. You could be on a revenue roller coaster in your business. And being able to get some of these systems in place are going to help you to be able to change that. Okay, so it's that, so that's why it's important that you have a way of operating in your business and getting things done, which are actually your systems. And a lot of people don't talk about this, but systems are really the way that you begin to generate wealth inside of your business. So if you think about um, a lot of major business chains that you might be familiar with, let's just take something popular like uh, Chick-fil-A, for example. Okay, Chick-fil-A is typically a fan favorite, right? Chick-fil-A, when they franchise a location of Chick-fil-A, what they are actually selling is their system. They're selling their ways of doing business, their documented ways of running things inside of the company. This is how Chick-fil-A has become a multi, multi, multi million dollar company. They might be in the billion dollar range now, but it's why they're so successful as a company because they have documented ways of getting things done. It doesn't matter what Chick-fil-A you go to, the chicken sandwiches are going to taste the same. The sauce is the same. The, the, the barbecue sauce is the same. The honey mustard sauce is the same. You can walk into any Chick-fil-A anywhere and know exactly what you're going to get. You're going to have those crinkle fries, right? You're going to have that, uh, sugary lemonade, <laughs> right? Like all the things that make a Chick-fil-A great. Okay, so what they're selling is their operations manual, a binder, which has how they document it, documented ways of getting things done. So if there's leaks in your business, like things that aren't happening when it comes to being able to attract clients in your business, when it comes to being able to close clients in your business, when it comes to being able to successfully deliver your services to clients without feeling overwhelmed, it is a sign that you absolutely need to get some more routines, AKA systems in place in your business. 
So I want to share with you three systems that are absolutely necessary for six-figure businesses to thrive. So let's start in on the first system. The first system is your client attraction system. Your client attraction system is the system that is involved in your ability to generate leads. That's basically identifying people that would be a good fit for your services and being able to qualify those people. Okay, a person is not a lead until you have captured their information. So you want to make sure that you're able to get their first name at the very least and an email address. Um, now that text message marketing is becoming more important, you may want to even have a, uh, uh, their phone number, their mobile phone number, so that you can reach out to them via text. So your client attraction system is your ability to make sure that you can identify who are the people that are raising their hand to say that they're interested in learning more about what you do and how you do it. And then how do you um, get their information from them? So you may do this with what we call a client candy or freebie or some kind of opt-in guide that allows you to capture that person's information and then you're gonna, the next step in your client attraction is going to be nurturing them and making sure that you can build upon that relationship. Okay, so client attraction is critical for your business to get in six figures because where your clients are coming from is basically from your leads, right? The people that are interested in working with you. If you're not getting enough leads, if you're only getting one or two leads a week, then you're not in, interacting with enough people to be able to convert folks into potential clients or convert uh, people into actual clients, okay? So you wanna make sure that that client attraction system is really working on your behalf so that you are generating adequate leads. Now, adequate leads is gonna be different for every business. It depends on what your sales goals are. One of the things that we teach our clients inside of Breadwinners Mastermind is that you want to be focused on having a high-end service business, a business that is selling a signature offer that is $2,000 or more at the very least so that you can be able to sustain your business very quickly by only having a minimal number of clients. If you're running a high-end service business, let's just say, for example, if you have a, you know, a 3K offer, right, if you have, you know, th three and a half clients, then you're able to do 10K months in your business. 10K months puts you on a run rate to being at six figures in revenue, okay? So that's why, so basically $8,333 a month is what you need for your business to be on track to be earning six figures in revenue. And you wanna set your business up for success so that you don't actually need a lot of clients in order to get to those 10K months in revenue. If you are um, selling your offers too low, it's typically meaning that you're having a volume-based business, which is gonna require you to need a lot of clients in order to get to a place where you can actually sustain yourself and have, be, have a profitable business and have revenue coming in enough where you can not only cover the business expenses, but you can also be able to pay yourself a lucrative salary and have profit left over at the end of the day. Like that's where you wanna be in your business. You don't want everything flowing out of the business. You wanna make sure that the business is profitable. It's able to produce a successful income for you, it's able to cover business expenses. You're able to pay your taxes, and there's still cash left over in the uh, left over in the bank, which is at your profit. Okay, so that's the client attraction system. So that's the first system that we want to make sure that you have in place your ability to find and qualify those needs, so you can take them leads, so you can take them into the next step, which is nurturing. Okay, the second system that you want to have in place is your sales system. Now we've done other breadwinning Wednesdays where I've really broken down in detail the sales system. In fact, I just did a recent podcast episode um, where we talked about setting up a multi six-figure sales system. So if you're not already listening to the breadwinning women podcast, you probably want to check that out. So the episode is 
called How to Set Up a Multi-Six-Figure Sales System in Your Business of, um, of on the Breadwinning Women podcast. So make sure you check that episode out if you want to go uh, do a deeper dive into what a sales system includes. And so I break down the all of the components of a sales system. In a nutshell, your sales system is where you are making offers to clients and converting them from prospects into actual clients. Okay, so you wanna make your offers to clients. So when I say making an offer, I mean that you are inviting a person to work with you. You're saying, hey, I, I have a service that can help you with this. Would you like to learn more about how I can help? Or would you like to learn more about how I can help you create the results that you're looking for? Whatever the transformation is that they're looking for in their business, you wanna explain exactly how you can help them and be able to share all of that. And then you wanna be able to convert them from a lead or prospect into an actual buyer. And so you need to be having conversion events, different types of conversion events in your business so that you can actually make those offers and invite people to work with you. Okay, if this is all making sense so far and you're getting a value out of this and give me a V for value in the chat to let me know that this is helpful and connecting for you. So your sales system is really going to help you when it comes to making sure that you're taking those leads that you did all of that nurturing and building and finding and all that work and then converting them to clients. A lot of people are great at getting leads. Like you may have a lot of people that are currently on your email list or um, you may have an audience on social media that you're trying to convert into leads by um, capturing their information or getting them to exchange information with you. You may have an audience in different places like on Facebook or on Instagram. If, But remember, if you don't actually have their contact information, then they're not actually a lead and you need to qualify them to make, their, make sure that they're a good fit for working with you. So your sales system is going to help you to be able to take those leads from, from cold to close, right? So from being a cold buyer to actually closing and becoming a, a, a specific client. So if you, so right now, if you have an audience of people around you, you have a Facebook community, you have a LinkedIn community, you have people on your email list, but you don't have the number of clients that you wanna have, then you wanna go and look at all of those audiences and potential leads and it may be telling you that you need a cell system you need an actual process a routine around taking those leads and moving them um, from being interested in your work and what your services are to having a desire to being educated around what you do, to getting being made an offer in order to work with you. So every single buyer, it doesn't matter, you know, where you connect with them, where you're based, what you're from, what type of service that you provide, every single buyer or potential client needs to go through these steps in order for them to, um, like I said, go from cold to close in order for them to become an actual client. Okay, so your sales system is the second system that you need in place for a six-figure business. Let's talk about number three. Number three is your client delivery. What I often see for a lot of business owners that are in that five to 10K month gap, right? Like they haven't, and honestly, I've seen it for business owners that are that are doing more than that as well, but the, this is definitely a big one in that five to 10K um, month space where you're in a place where you might be overwhelmed with the amount of client work. And this is so common where you're doing client work, you're excited about the clients that you're working with, you are fulfilled in the work that you're doing, but the work is all encompassing. And if the work is all encompassing, it likely means that you have not streamlined 
your business in the area of client delivery. Okay, so that's number three. You need a really tight client delivery system, especially if you are overworking in your business, but the way that you're overworking is not allowing you to hit your desired revenue numbers yet. Okay, so this is very common. You're overworking, but you're not hitting your desired revenue numbers. Then this really means that you want to look at how can you set your business up so that you can make sure that you're hitting your desired revenue goals. So this is gonna come down to um, making sure that your delivery is really tight and that you have a process set up for being able to deliver to your clients. I'm gonna open up the floor for questions in a second. So, hey, Lavinia, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in a minute. So glad that you're here. Hey, Angela, hey, Michelle. So I wanna hear any questions that you have about these three systems that we're talking about, or if you have questions of other systems, I'm gonna open the floor for questions in a second. But your client delivery is making sure that you have a really tight process for how you're delivering your services. So the things that you wanna think about in your delivery is how am I onboarding the clients? Am I creating great boundaries in the onboarding process? Am I making them aware of how I can help them in the onboarding process? Am I giving them the next logical steps that they're gonna take so that they understand how things work, where things are, how to get access to the things that they need to get access to as a part of your service? You wanna walk a client through all of that as a part of um, of your delivery, you also need to make sure that you can deliver your service in a way that it's not 100% contingent upon you. In Breadwinner's Mastermind, we talk about um, the cycle of service, and it's basically a wheel. And the cycle of service is basically all of the steps that are included in the process of you from you uh, initially onboarding that client to them getting the end result that they're investing with you and so there's a lot that needs to be done in that delivery. Now, where I see a lot of business owners go wrong, especially when they're in that gap and they haven't hit that six-figure mark or they're struggling to get from six to multi-six-figure mark, is that the delivery um, process is 100% relying on them. So let's just say, for example, if you have a program that you're offering. If you have a program that you're offering, then you wanna make sure you're not the only person delivering the service. You have support inside of the program. That support could look like a client success specialist. It might look like additional coaches or trainers or service providers that are inside of your service. If you have a service like, um, let's say Angela, right? She has a virtual assistant company. So you may, in, in a company like that, you're gonna wanna have other VAs that are providing the services to your clients. So you wanna make sure that you're not the only person that's providing the service because when you're the only person providing the service, here's what happens. It makes it very difficult for you to feel like you can take a vacation, that you can take any time off, that you can take a break away from the business because you feel like I'm letting my clients down if I walk away. When actually, if you have other people that are helping to provide the services, that's not the case. You can have somebody jump in. It's like a good relay race. Somebody else gets to tag in for you and assist the clients. You should not be the only person assisting the clients. It makes it very difficult for you to get sick as well. Like if you have a cold or, you know, my goodness, we're in the times of COVID, right? If something happened with someone in your family or something like that in relationship to COVID, then you have to worry about like, can I take time off? Can I do what I need to do to be able to take care of this member of my family, right? Or even if you're yourself, you have something going on from a health perspective that you need to check into. So you want to make sure that you are not the only person that is delivering the service in your business, you want to look for ways that you can either automate or begin to outsource by enlisting a team. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Jay, a team costs money. How the heck am I supposed to hire all these people in my business? I'm, at, I'm still at a certain revenue mark. I haven't crossed into those 20K, 30K months yet. Well, the thing is, you want to be able to set that person up on your team as a revenue producer. So when you are pricing your service proper, pro, um, 
profitably, you can basically build into your pricing model so that you can make sure that you have enough cushion and what you're charging in your services to be able to cover for the cost of hiring someone else, right? So we make sure in our services, you know, this is our job as breadwinning um, women to make sure that in our services, we have enough cushion so that we can have the support that we need to provide a high quality service. I don't want you skimping or feeling like you have to do all of the work in your business because there's not enough margin between what you're charging and what it costs you to deliver your service to clients. So you want to make sure that there is enough cushion between what you're charging and what it costs you to deliver your service to clients to be able to profitably pay people so that you're not the only person providing service delivery. So outsourcing is one way to cover it. Also using technology and automation is another, another way to make sure your delivery is tight. So I want you to think about in your business, even if you don't have a program or a coaching type business, if you have a different service type business, I want you to think about where you can automate, like where are places where you can create videos for clients to be able to walk them through different things that you need to do. Um, I had a client inside of Brent Winner's Mastermind who uh, had a bookkeeping business, right? And so one of the things that we talked about was how she could create videos for clients, walking them through the documentation that they need to provide her for her to be able to keep their books or maintain their taxes. So instead of doing that as a manual, you know, you're on a Zoom call or you're on a phone call with somebody and you're walking through, you're taking the time to walk them through that step by step by step by step by step yourself that's exhausting. You're going to have to do that for every single customer, right? If you have a way of automating by creating some videos, having the video set up, making sure when a client comes in, they can easily get onboarded, watch the videos, know exactly what to do next, what to expect inside of your services. That's going to create a premier experience. You want to, you want to serve high-end, high-caliber clients, you have to start setting your business up in a way that provides a high-caliber service, right? So that means making sure that you have these things in place inside of your delivery so that clients are getting an exceptional experience when they work with you. Okay, so let's review the three systems, and then I want to make sure to take any questions that you have. So the three systems that you need to have in place in order for your business to grow to six figures and beyond are your client attraction system, which deals with the attracting of your leads, qualifying your leads, nurturing your leads, your client attraction system. The second system that we talked about is your sales system. This is the system that is going to take those leads from just being people that are hanging out all around you, right? Potential um potential clients to being actual clients. You need a process, a routine for being able to move people from a conversation to close or from a connection to close, okay? And then the third system is your client delivery system. This is making sure that you have a definite process for being able to take care of the client and deliver the services that they hired you to deliver. And you wanna be able to do that smoothly with having um, things in place like automation in place, videos in place, people in place to be able to support the service delivery so that you're never bottlenecking your business because you're the only person that can handle clients. You want to have other people that are on your team or other people that you enlist to bring into your team so that you can be able to have support around your services. All right, I wanna check for any questions you have. You, um, We have some folks on Zoom with me as well as inside of the Birdwinning Women community. So you can actually unmute and ask your questions or if you have a comment that you wanna share, you can unmute and ask your questions live um, before we wrap up today. While you're coming up with your questions, feel free to type them into the chat or you can just raise your hand if you wanna unmute and ask your question live. While we are doing that, I want to tell you that putting together these kind of systems are exactly what we do inside of Breadwinners Mastermind. So if you've been looking for a program that will allow you to get these things in place in your business, 
then I want to invite you to apply for the Breadwinners Mastermind. Breadwinners Mastermind is an exclusive um, implementation program that's specifically designed for women owners to be able to sell and market their high-end service, set up their entire back office operations in place, and be able to do this all without working more hours than you're already working. Listen, I know you're probably already working as many hours as you have in a day to work. There's no more hours for you to give. So we need to do this business more efficiently and more effectively. And the thing that I want to tell you is what got you here is not going to be the thing that's going to get you to the higher numbers in your business. You can hustle your way, you know, to making, you know, a couple thousand dollars in your business. But if you really want to scale to multiple six figures, you have to do things in a more strategic way. You're going to have to get foundational level systems in place in your business. You're going to have to be able to be more organized and know how to set boundaries and be able to better manage your time. Time is your most valuable resource. And if right now you're winging it, flying by the seat of your pants every day, it is not the type of behavior that spirit of busyness is not going to create the results that you want to have inside of your business. So you really need to get organized. So if that sounds delicious to you, then I want to invite you um, to book a call with me, apply for Breadwinners Mastermind, book a call with me and learn more about our program. So I want to just ask Jovian on our team if she would drop a link for you to um, book a call with our team. So let's talk about what your specific goals are and whether or not Breadwinner, Breadwinners Mastermind can help you to get there. All right, I'm just going to double check inside the community to see if we have any questions before we wrap up for today's session, or if you have a question and you're live on the line with me, then feel free to unmute and ask your questions live. Now take a sip of water while you guys. All right, well, I don't see any questions. Maybe you're typing. Let me, oh, let me check out the chat. Okay, let me do that. Let me check and check. <laughs> Angela says, book the call, ladies. Awesome. Okay, so that looks like there's no questions today, so that's totally fine. But what I want to say is if you have a question, then you can actually type into um the comments later on the recording of this video and type your questions. I come back and check these out all the time. So if something comes up or you had about the systems or you're thinking about what systems do I get in place? Where do I start with all this, Jamila? I don't have any systems in place yet in my business. I am in that place where I'm trying to get to six figures, um, but I don't have any of this stuff in place and I'm kind of winging it and I'm getting clients mysteriously <laughs> and you're ready to be able to get this more um, foundation set in your business, then you can ask to do, absolutely leave questions below and I'll be checking back on the video, um, on the, re the replay of the video to make sure that I can answer all your questions. All right, so that's this week's Breadwinning Wednesday. I will be back with you next week for another Breadwinning Wednesday. Until then, I look forward to seeing you. Bye for now.